the entrance antiphone. I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I shall appoint a shepherd to pasture them, and I, the Lord, will be their God. Mass intentions this morning for the repose of the soul of Sister Carol of Christ, OCD, for the deceased members of our community, and for the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people as we ask, O oh Lord, the spirit with which you, f you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, has God rejected his people? By no means, I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of a tribe of Benjamin. God has rejected his people whom he foreknew. So I ask, have these symbols so as to fall? By no means, but through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles so as to make Israel jealous. Now, if their trespass means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Lest you be wise in your own conceits, I want you to understand this mystery, brethren. A hardening has come upon part of Israel until the full number of the Gentiles come in, and so all Israel will be saved, as it is written. The deliverer will come from Zion, he will banish ungodliness from Jacob, and this will be my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As regards the gospel, they are enemies of God for your sake, but as regards election, they are beloved for the sake of their forefathers, for the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. 
The Lord, you never abandon His people. Blessed the man whom you discipline, O Lord, whom you train by means of your law, to whom you give peace in evil days. The Lord you will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people, nor forsake those who are his heritage. For judgment shall again be just, and all true hearts shall uphold it. The Lord you will not abandon his people. If the Lord will not to help me, my soul will soon go down to the silence. When I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy, O Lord, holds me up. The Lord will not abandon his people. Alleluia. Alleluia. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to dine at the house of a ruler who belonged to the Pharisees, they were watching him. Now he told a parable to those who were invited. When he marked how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, When you are invited by anyone to a marriage feast, do not sit down in a place of honor, lest a more eminent man than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give place to this man, and then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, go up higher, then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. About almost two weeks ago, we were planning to go for Thanksgiving Mass at Lansdowne, where the, the Cardinal, the, our new Cardinal, was to celebrate Mass of Thanksgiving. So I had people who came to me and they said, Father, are you going to, for Mass? I said, yes, I'm going. So they asked me, Father, what time are we leaving? So I said, oh, Mass is at, at uh, 10, but I'm sure it will be crowded. So it's better we leave early so that you all go and find where to sit. So I was joking with the people, I was saying to them, for us, we are like Pharisees, even when it is crowded, we have somewhere to sit. <laughs> so they said, all right, Father, we understand. You always have a place reserved that, oh, this is for the priests up there, you know. But Jesus today is not talking about this, eh, that eh, we have a place where to sit. Jesus is talking probably for about something which can speak to us, a humble beginning. And when you, you have that humble beginning, 
you will find yourself slowly being elevated and people will come and say, oh, we never saw that this guy can become who he is or this uh, lady could one day become who she is, a humble beginning and humbling ourselves when we go to some functions as well. Mm? You don't know, Jesus is saying, you don't know, maybe there is another powerful man there who is invited. You go there and you think I'm the only special guy, but there is another special person. So it will be very embarrassing. So it's better you, you, you wait and say, oh, I don't know where else is invited here. Mm? Let me wait. You can't just go and say, oh, I have come, I'm the guest of honor. The guest of honor is also wait to be shown where to sit. Oh, here is your seat. In the political um, areas, the political fields, it's not like this. Hmm? Because it's, it's, it's very rare when we see most of the presidents humbling themselves to say, oh, I'll wait. No, the people wait for, for instead of the, the president waiting to, to be shown where to sit, they already know where they, they when they look, they see the eye table, they say, oh, um, that is for me. But my dear friends, a humble beginning or humbleness itself draws people to us. It gives people impetus to approach us. When we are humble, people find it easy. They will say, ah, that person is humble. When you are pompous, the people will be afraid of approaching you. They will say, we don't know what that person is going to say to us. It was the same, uh, the Pharisees, when people uh, see them, they will, they will leave the, the road, even when they are passing. Eh? They will leave the road, they will kneel, they will bow down and uh, show reverence to them. And this is what Jesus is talking about. We cannot uh, be like that as followers of Christ. As followers of Christ, we have to imitate him who humbled himself unto death. This is a fruit of the, 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 the preaching he gave on the mountain, the Beatitudes. Blessed are those who humble themselves. He's inviting us to humility, the call to humility. Even when we go wrong, for us to accept that we have sinned, we are wrong, we need to humble ourselves. Humility. In fact, even when we die, we will we'll humble ourselves and go back to humus. So, what will we gain by being pompous in this world? What will we gain by in, mistreating others simply because we are we have a position in in our society nothing when we humble ourselves we gain everything we gain god's love when we humble ourselves we gain the most precious gift we can ever think of the grace of god the love of god so as we pray this morning, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us remember that humility has to be taken as a virtue which we have to acquire all of us. In our ministry, in everything that we are doing, in helping the poor, in welcoming uh, people, let us show that in humbleness. Let us show that humility. 
Otherwise, people will run away from us. People will say, who will say all sorts of things about us. We will not win people for Christ if we are not humble. But when we do, we will win people for Christ. And we will be able to know that whatever we are doing is not us who are doing it. It is Christ who is in us. Christ who lives in us. Christ who walks with us. May God bless us all. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of His name. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles Bromeo, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so may you make us abound in good fruit by our works through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced the world to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so, with all the angels and saints, we exhort and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you laid through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand, 
We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen Brislin, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us save them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters, especially Sister Caro of Christ, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our most chaste spouse, and with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exhort you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of our Lord now and forever. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray for the peace of Christ that we may always remain humble and not be like other people who want to put themselves where they are not. Mm -hmm. Christ humbled himself and is our model. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord here present be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion antiphon. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made St. Charles Borromeo faithful in ministry and fervent in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. So tomorrow we will have Mass at 5.30 for all saints. That's fine. Mass at 5.30 tomorrow for those who, who can manage to come. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your lives. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.